Okay, guys, we did it. We have completed the Piggy Book 2 hidden ending, or the true ending, whatever you want to call it. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to solve this, how to unlock this ending, see the secret cutscene, and get the brand new skin, the TO skin right here. Now, before we begin, if you don't mind, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that like button, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, we're going to have a lot of videos covering this ending because it's pretty crazy. But with that being said, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is have already completed all of book two. I'm pretty sure you probably already have done that if you're watching this video. I should also say that VIP servers are free. So if you want to grab a friend and do this in a VIP server, it is going to be way, way easier. So definitely do that. So the first thing you want to do is actually go to chapter nine, the docks. And what you want to do is complete this map without pony getting hit, without pony getting infected. You can do this on any mode, bot, player, player bot, doesn't matter. But the easiest way to do it is to get a friend or an alt account in the game, have them be piggy, let them just sit in a corner somewhere so that way they're not in the way. Don't go near them, just complete the map and then escape the map with Pony alive. Or should I say non-infected? Escape the map without Pony getting hit, basically. And then after you do that, you're actually gonna go to the camp map, chapter 11. Now this one has to be on swarm mode, all right? Chapter 11, swarm mode. And it's very simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna unlock the blue key room. It's this tower here, you're gonna unlock it. And inside of this room is gonna be a keypad. You're gonna put this number on the keypad and hit the check mark. The number is 467854. Put that in there, hit the check mark, and then you can oof. You don't need to complete the map. Just let the infected get you, and we'll move on to the next step. So after you do that, you're actually going to go into chapter 12, the lab. Now, this is going to be in bot mode. It has to be in bot mode. Now, again, this is where friends come in handy because you're going to need someone to keep track of Penny and the bot and all that. Basically, what I'm saying is do this in a VIP server with friends. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open up the map, okay? And there's going to be four vents around the map. There's one at the spawn. There's one by the gold key room. There's one by the blue exit door in the hallway and then there's also one in the blue exit door there's four vents these four vents will have numbers behind them okay you use the wrench to activate the vents and they have numbers behind them so what you want to do is keep track of the numbers in this order you want to go the spawn right here right where you spawn. You want to grab this one and then you want to get the one right next to the gold key room, this one right here. And then you want to get the one in the hallway, this one right here. And then you want to get one in the blue key room right here. Now, once you have those four numbers, they're different every time you join the game, you're going to take those numbers and convert them into words. So if your number is four, it's going to be F-O-U-R. If the number is two, it's going to be T-W-O. If your number is three, it's going to be T-H-R-E-E. -E. And then you're going to use this alphabet here. I'll put it up on the screen. This is what each symbol means. The letter it corresponds to. You're going to use this alphabet. And in the order that I said, the spawn room, the gold key room, the hallway, and then the blue key room, you're going to enter in these words. So again, just convert the numbers to words and then put those words into the numpad or the symbol pad. And if you do that correctly, it's going to say password accepted, code accepted, and you're going to get teleported into a cutscene. Now watch this cutscene all the way through. It's really awesome. But after this cutscene ends, you're going to get teleported into a another gameplay segment. This is where you're going to need to be fast. For this first part, there's going to be numbers on the wall. You're going to take those numbers. You're going to put them in the keypad. Very straightforward. Move on to the next room. For this next room, there's going to be colors on the wall. There's going to be squares. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to put the colors in in this order. You're going to do the one on the left wall closest to you the one on the left wall furthest away from you. And then you're going to go to the right wall furthest away from you. And then the one on the right wall closest to you. I'll draw a little diagram on the screen, but this should be the order that you go in right here. Now, once you put those numbers in, you're going to do the exact same puzzle that you did in the docks. Put the numbers that are on the wall in the little like little circle puzzle thing. Very simple and move on to the next step. Now, this next step is the exact same puzzle again that we've seen in previous maps. This is the temple one. So all you're going to do is do this puzzle puzzle again, just like you did in the temple map. If you're unsure how this particular puzzle is done, I'll, I'll explain it real quick. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to look at this little bar and you see this part right here. This is the left side of the circle, left side of the circle. And in the middle is a plus. And if we look at the circle, we can see left side. We're going to make the middle a plus. And then you're just going to do that for every side. And then for this next step, this is just the puzzle from the camp map. If you, if you don't know how to solve it, literally just push buttons randomly and you'll get it. It's actually really simple. Or if you look on the wall, there'll be red circles and it'll show you which buttons to push and you can just push those and it'll activate. And then once you do that, I recommend setting your graphics to three here. It's going to be a lot easier without the shadows. But basically, T.O. Mr. Dude Man, he's going to be chasing you around here. And what you need to do is you need to grab three items. 
you need to grab the wooden sword. You're going to grab the wooden sword and you're going to give the wooden sword to Pony. He's going to be getting attacked by his father who's infected. You're going to give the wooden sword to Pony. He's going to fight off his father with it. And then you're going to grab the baseball bat here and you're going to take it to uh, Georgie. So you're going to give the baseball bat to Georgie. He's going to fend off his sister. And then in that room, you're going to grab the metal pipe, the metal pipe sword. And you're going to take that to Zizzy's room where you're going to give it to her sister and she's going to fight off infected Zizzy. And once you do that, the upstairs section of this map is going to open up and some awesome music is going to start playing. Now, be careful because upstairs is actually two sentinels. One is completely dark, completely shadowed. So it's hard to see. And the other one, I believe, is white. So it's pretty simple to see. There's also traps all over the floor to watch out for those. But basically, you're going to take the other three items from downstairs. We have a carrot. You're going to give that one to Bunny, who's actually upstairs. And then Bunny's going to go shoot Dude Man with the carrot. And then you're going to grab the dog bone and you're going to give that to Doggy. He's also upstairs. And then he's going to go and hit Dude Man. And then the final step is to give Zizzy the grass. Zizzy is upstairs. She's the third one. Grab the grass from downstairs. Take it upstairs. Give it to Zizzy. And then she will go and attack Dude Man. Now, after you've done all that, the true ending is complete. Congratulations, you've done it. You've unlocked the badge. A cutscene will play and you can enjoy it. Now, you're probably gonna have a lot of questions watching this cutscene. I know I did. I'm gonna make a whole video going over the ending, so make sure you're subscribed for it. But that is it there. You've completed the true ending. Go get the ending. Watch the cutscenes. They're awesome. And I'll see you guys later today for some more videos. I stood here once before Not long I could change the past, but we're past that, so I'm washed clean in the river, bye-bye.